maybe. Hello, everybody. Where are things pointed? Who knows? figure. Uh, let's see if I've got the stream working now. Is the stream working? Maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. Well, hello, people. I don't actually know where the chat's gonna pop up. Um, oh, here we go. Hello! Cool. Okay, I, I have chat now. So I officially can check chat. Although I have to like physically walk over to my chat to find it, so that part's kind of fun. So that was with the rapier, I guess. Rapier's very satisfying to use in this. Whoa! I like using the rapier a lot. But uh, what else do we have? I I haven't quite found using two-handed swords particularly fun though, which is frustrating. I like doing messer and buckler. That's pretty fun. I like Messer and Buckler. So let's do let's do a round of that. Messer and Buckler for this round. See where that takes us. Hang on, let me check chat. Hello everybody in chat. Hi! Hello Pierce Wingert and Beer von Stoffenwitz. 
forget my pronunciation. Hello. Um, I think I think I'm gonna talk a bit. So I'm gonna take duelists. Let's take duelists, and for the purposes of conversation, I'm gonna turn invincibility on for a minute. Um, oh, darn it. I spent so long trying to fix this um, that I'm running a, running low on power. But basically, okay, so I turned invincibility on so I'd have a minute to uh, be able to, like, talk through stuff and not worry about, like, dying on the spot. So that's, that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try to... So I want to orient myself here. So that way I can hopefully uh, work through this. I guess I need to be... Oh, shoot, how do I need to do this? I need to turn... There we go. Okay, so... Uh, this is a good chance to kind of explain, sort of, uh, to kind of talk through it. Especially if they have a buckler, too, so this makes things interesting. Now, uh, they're going to do whatever they want to do. I can kind of keep them at bay for a minute while I talk. Uh, but basically, the idea here being that I don't have that much hand protection, right? So if my hand's out here, as opposed to them, my hand is kind of open, right? So I don't want to be in this position all that much. I know that their sword is primed to come from this way, so I can keep my buckler out on this side and try to close that line. And by closing the line the buck their sword hand has, I can extend, it's now safer for me to extend this hand out because I can hide it. I can close the line that they want to take here and put my hand under it and cover it this way. And then ideally I can then basically receive and uh, work off of what they're doing. I can also keep this hand completely back and wait to for a good chance to engage with it. I'm not quite sure why they've been so passive for so long. I think it's because they're stuck on the rocks. We're gonna move back and see if we can. So you see there, I can. So I can do. I can keep the buckler out. Oh, you are really close. All right, so I can keep the buckler out in front of me. Uh, that'll close off a lot of lines. Like you see how just keeping it centrally located just kind of closes off a lot that comes in. Of course, some video game jankiness aside, right? But you know that's the basic idea. Is I'm keeping this out in front of me. Uh, it's protecting me. I am still poised to come out with the blade. And of course, I can defend with the blade too. So that can sometimes be, you know, what you want to do, right? Because uh, if you commit with the buckler, especially if you commit here, I can't see what's going on anymore, right? So I want to be careful about when I actually commit. And, you know, I want to be smart about, you know, kind of peeking. So I can, I don't have to block like this. I can turn it out like this and, and kind of look, look at what, it, look at what's in front of me. See if I can get him to commit to something. I really don't want to. I don't know why. Alright, so so rising up. See if I can get something else. Well, you yeah. know. Is what it is. We got a new volunteer for our purposes. Oh, you're running this way. Oh, that's that's something I want to talk about here. You're, I think you're alive. Are you alive? No, you're, you are not alive. Oops. Yeah. Oh, hello. That was unpleasant. Okay, so excuse me. I'm trying to talk here. Okay. So, what do I want to talk about? This guy? this guy's okay. This guy's not behaving. Anyways, let's find somebody who's more going to behave better, so I can talk about. Because I want to talk about. Uh, I saw an opportunity there to explain to Clear and I really wanted to talk about the game really badly. So hopefully I can get somebody more agreeable for the purposes of talking about Duplirin. So Duplirin is, so, you know, obviously, like, we can get in this little, like, ha, ha, ha game all we want, right? We can sit here and choppy, 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 choppy at each other and not necessarily get many places, right? But there's another option here, which is where I don't necessarily have to actually leave the bind. If I am here and they start to, like, push me off, I can potentially cut inside the line of the bind. Um, let's see if I can create the opportunity here. She keeps cutting around. I need you to stay in the bind a little bit so I can find the... Oh, wait. I can do the slowdown. Oh, that's not the right button. Okay. Um, to do the... S excuse me. I've got the... Here. Okay, so I do the slowdown. So inside the bind. Nope. Inside the bind. Inside the bind. Turn. Cut through. There. 
that, that kind of gets the idea across. So that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for, is that. I can do it quickly at speed, but I don't know for you all to actually see it happen. I have to bring it down, because if I can if I could, like, really go for it. Oh. Yeah, it, it happens that fast. So I have to I have to do the slow mo or else nobody sees the duplirin happen. So let's see if I can uh Oh! Oh dear. That was weird. I am definitely feeling the shortness of the messer in that moment there. Alright, anywho. Uh so yeah, that's that's one thing here is uh getting Getting close on these, on the long weapons is tricky uh, in this. It's, it's tricky to get in on a long weapon in general, but especially here where it's hard to get anything to like stick. Like, I can bind on their sword, but they can always pull off of it. See what I mean? They can always get away from it, which is frustrating, because it means you get a surprise, like, shank when you think you've stifled the weapons. I wonder if they fixed shield bashing. I was I was told shield bashing didn't work at the moment. So hopefully I can make shield bashing work. Possibly. Where is chat right now? If I go here and then I move... Oh, is that it? Oh, I guess that was it. Oh, no, there's, there's something. Right, um... Yeah, so basically that's, that's kind of what I was working at here is... The idea... I want to see if I can push. Can I get oh. pushes? Oh, yeah. Looks like I can get pushes. Cool. So that works. So that's one of the elements of buckler fencing, is using the buckler to push and open somebody up in ways that you want. So, you know, coming over, shoving, hitting, uh, what have you. The puppies are upset. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, this person might give me the inside bind. Let's see if I can get it. No, stop blocking. I want to. I want to get the inside bind, please. Fine. You're gonna be like that. We can do it that way. Are you alive? No. Not alive. Woo! Fun. Uh, you know what? Let's let's have some fun with the uh, with this thing, huh? Ooh. There we go. In that moment, I saw an opportunity to uh, go for a lunge because he was open on both sides. So the center line is clearly open. Run like that. Every now and then, you just, you just feel that opening, and it's very intuitive. Take it there. Whoa! I did not lunge with enough force there, apparently. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I could try to Distreza it for a minute. Or I could do... I don't really do Distreza, but I've, I've skimmed. I've skimmed some of the uh, Distreza text. Not really the sword for distress though. I have chat messages. Oh, thank you. Um, I am running a... It's funny you should ask that. Am I running other mods? Yes. Yes, I am running other mods. Oh, I dropped my pistol. And I got this one, too. One Amban rifle. Always fun. Oh, aiming this, this thing is really hard. Which probably helps if I... What the? Did it just hurt me? I think it just hurt me. Oh. 
sir. I'm wondering if I have pulled it this way. I just pole axe it. Switch it around and just. What else do I what else should I talk about? I don't know. What do I have? What can I talk about? I could bring up the uh, Montante is always fun to talk about. Let's do the Montante. Uh, I wonder if I can How do I do this? There's a way I can switch to like Ah, oh, I thought I knew. Oh, 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 a kick? I didn't know I had a kick. That's fun. Alright, I'm gonna pull out the Montante. Oh, yeah, power is low. I'm gonna pull out the Montante for a minute. And I don't know if we're gonna be going much longer than that. But I'm gonna pull out the Montante and see where that gets us. And then maybe do the Poleaxe after against, like, armored enemies. That seems like it'd be kind of fun. Um, I gotta fix my camera here. This needs to be... This... This needs to be... I need to walk over towards my thing. There we go. That's now in the right spot. Um... Let's see. See, the thing is, I want a horde of enemies, but I want melee only. But it's like I only have... All these... The, the melee only options are all so many enemies. And that's not what I want. So, I keep going back to, like, other stuff. I need waves of enemies that are melee only, and then also a lot of them. I guess we'll go with that, I guess. We'll just fight endless, and then I'll just come back here and restart the thing. How about that? Okay, I gotta orient myself to where I have the most space to work. So we're going to be fighting here, because this way I can at least control who's on either side of me. So I'm currently just getting the sword up. In circles around, trying to keep it. Whoa, that was too close. So I'm basically keeping this thing up, looking for targets of opportunity, and then trying to just basically keep the enemies at bay. Whoa, much like man. Oh darn. getting back there. They're starting to get a little tangled up on each other. Oh, that's fine.
Oh, they're all falling into each other. This is fine. Fighting endless enemies was a mistake because I just was kind of getting into the groove of oh, what the... Yeah, that's probably a good place to stop for, the, for now. With that. Goodbye. Woo! That's fun. Yeah, so the... I'm just catching up with the uh, comments here. Yeah, I've been meaning to do more full-length videos. I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, so the uh, NS, NSNP, uh, yeah, the hard time matching the hands, it is hard uh, because getting to Nano's question there, does the game recognize that the sword has two edges? Yes, it does. But again, the track, trying to coordinate the movements between the two hands that are not attached I often kind of like have whiffs or just bad cuts when I'm trying to use the back edge with two hands on the sword. It doesn't work quite like I want it to, which is unfortunate to say the least. Which is not an issue I really have when I'm doing uh, stuff with a sword. Ooh, I could do like a some sort of saber. What we got? Mm. Ooh, officer saber is kind of fun. That's excessive. Take the Swiss Saber out. Except that that's not going to handle very well um, in this game. Unfortunately, I can't do the twirlies, like, because of how the, this works, I can't really, like, mulinate it in my hand, which is really frustrating, because, <laughs> like, there you go, you can't use, you can't use it. It doesn't work. I haven't taken this thing for a spin. This, this'd be fun. I'm gonna use this. Or this one. I don't know which I actually want. I could do this one. Okay, chat. I can do this one, or I could do this one. Which one should I use? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I do have options for secondaries. Uh, I could take one. Um, let's see here. What's in, what's in this hand? <laughs> That's in this hand. But yeah, I can take a secondary too. I 
kind of feel like a rondo or something. Yeah, I'm a fan of Rondell, personally. So I'm gonna go with a Rondell. This one's kind of funky. Was there a Rondell in this pack? There was. Oh, I like that one more. I'm going with this Rondell. Okay, so we're gonna take a Rondell. Right hand looks neat. Okay, we'll go with the right hand one. Power is very low. Okay, just a warning, chat. Uh, the stream might end abruptly. Well, so I don't think it's the tracking that makes the twirling hard. It's the fact that I have to hold onto the controller. And I could maybe toggle it to be, like, click to hold. But ultimately, I can't let go. Like, the, the controller is a shape that I can't use in that way. I, I need something straighter to do that. This, this is a very ergonomic grip for this, this kind of grip here. But... Doing anything else with it, uh, not so good. What do I want to fight? Let's fight some, like, bandits on hard, I guess. Let's see where that takes us. I'm gonna try to be a little more proactive in how I, like, go to engage these guys. Of course, I don't have the reach advantage I used to- I had earlier. Ah. Shoot. Yeah, that's not feeling great. Um, new plan. Aha! Enemies with fireballs, enemies with arrows. Unfortunately, just yeah, I just don't find the two-handed fighting to be very enjoyable in this. I tried of like Montana. The Montante has like a nice wide grip. But I find that any sort where I need to actually keep my hands a little bit closer together. Oh, I'm fine. This is why I didn't want to. Why I was staying on the bridge. It's hard to deal with people on all sides of me. Them. That wasn't quite what I wanted. I wanted my dagger. There you go. Oh no. No, the stream. There it goes.